Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Fuzzy from Fuzzy Ghost Models here. Just with a quick update on the uh, BF109 that I've been working on, the uh, 30 second scale Dragon uh, E4 kit. Um, so I'm going to flip the camera around and I'll show you where I'm at and uh, I'll talk about what the next steps are going to be. Alright, so we'll flip them. Alright, so here we have the stage I'm at. <clears throat> and you can see I've added all the uh, the HGW uh, rivets have been added to it. These are, are uh, little microscopic rivets that are come in big decal sheets. And basically you stick them down, uh, let them dry, and then you peel off the top layer. And you're left with very, very, very fine, very fine rivet detail on here. And uh, that's the one thing lacking in this Dragon kit was these, the, the lack of rivets. There are some rivets on it, you can see, <clears throat> excuse me, around the, some of the access points, but none of the main riveting <clears throat> was done. So once that was completed, and it was a bit of a pain in the butt because they come in great big swaths. Um, and getting it lined up because they want you to paint the surface first black and I, I used uh, the what did I use I used the uh, it's a gloss they want you to use the Gunsy ones which I normally use but not for uh, black finish I use the uh, uh, Alclad 2 uh, glossy primer and uh, so but getting getting the deck lined up along <clears throat> along the rivet areas, along the, the the panel lines and that was a bit of a pain because it's so dark. So that was a lot of fun, but uh, I've got it finished. And then what I did is I added a uh, added a bunch of uh, spackling to it for some undercoat uh, variation. Now, the 109s were very well taken care of during the war, and this one's going to be a, a Battle of Britain era one, so it's going to be used, but uh, well taken care of so I didn't want to go too nuts on it and then once once I've had the uh, all the little spacklings done on it I've I've gone around and gone over with some uh, Tamiya flat black and just painted all of the all of the panel lines and the joints and that with the the flat black just to highlight each panel line square and then next is going to be doing the I'm going to start with the bottom across here with the uh, the light blue color for the underside and I'm going to start basically the my method will be to in each each panel area just spot in the blue until it it fills it in and then a nice light overcoat uh, of a very thinned afterwards and the same with the top I'll have to mask off the, the camouflage patterns it's pretty straightforward for the German one because they're they're nice and angled unlike the British ones like like this this one's a pain in the butt because you have to make the the uh, all the curves and that but this this one will be nice and easy to add the lines to it so that's where I'm at I'm really happy with this kit it's a freaking beautiful kit and I picked it up for fairly cheap comparatively speaking especially compared to the new Edward one and uh, I can't wait to get this one finished because there's a bunch of other projects that uh, I'm really looking forward to. So that's where I'm at right now. And uh, thanks for thanks for joining in. If you like the video, please hit like, subscribe. It would really help uh, the channel out. I really appreciate that. And I uh, hope to see you on the next one. I know this was really short, but I just wanted to keep you guys uh, updated on what's going on. Okay. All right. We'll see you later. Take care. Mm -hmm.